Welcome back. You've tuned into the 50th episode of 9XE The Show. So Varun Dawan's film Badlapur released last week and you just heard the director Sri Ram Raghavan talk about his dedication to the role. But did it pay off at the box office? Let's find out. Hi guys, I'm Rahul and I'm here to give you the box office collection for this week. So this week there is a very dramatic movie whose name is Badlapur and the cast involves Varun Dhawan, Nawazuddin Siddiqui, Yami Gautam, Radhika Apte and the brilliant actor Vinay Patak. And they all have done a great, great job. Trust me, I saw the movie this weekend and I fell in love with it. The movie is so gripping and pacey. If you haven't seen the movie, I think you should go and watch it right away. Let's get to the figures. On Friday, the movie collected 7.25 crores. On Saturday, it collected 8.75 crores. And on Sunday, it collected approximately 8 crores. So the total weekend collection for the movie Badla Pur is approximately 24 crores. That was it for this week. I'm Rahul and I'm signing off. So those were the numbers at the box office. We'll just have to wait and watch for how many weeks Badlapur sticks around in the theaters. From that piece of news, let's look at which films are up for release. Choreographer turned actor Ganesh Acharya's Hey Bro will release soon, so we sat down for a chat with him to talk about Hey Bro. Joining him are co-stars Maninder Singh and Nupur Sharma. अगर आप यहाँ पे अगर हम गौर से देखेंगे तो हम दोनों जुड़वा हैं जो कहीं भी एंगल से एक जैसे नहीं लगते मुझे बचपन से एक्टिंग का शौक था मैं मेरी करता लेकिन मेरे को मेरे डैडी का सपना पूरा करना था कोरियोग्राफर लेकिन कुछ हालात ऐसे हुए कि मुझे घातक में करना पड़ा वो मारा रहे फिर रोड का निकल ले भैया फिर उसके बाद फिर मुझे साउथ से ऑफर आया एक्टिंग का तो मैंने एक नेगेटिव रोल किया वो बहुत बड़ी हिट हो गई फिल्म राउतम फिर मुझे रेमो मेरे पास आया कि एबीसीडी में आपको मैं चाहता हूँ कि करूँ मिला यार रेमो में टाइम का बहुत प्रॉब्लम मिला नहीं मैं करूँ लूँगा He's being modest right now, but you have to see him in the film how what level Absolutely. of work he has done. He's being very modest, honestly, because his timing and everything. He's worked with so many actors. He yeah. himself is a dancer, choreographer. He uses his face so much while dancing, so mm -hmm. you can understand that what level of acting is inside him, which he will project in Hebrew easily. गाना तो बहुत जबरदस्त है। तो यंगस्टर यूथ का गाना है, लेकिन डायलॉग तो मदर इंडिया फिल्म के Mother India film में लाला जो character थे करना है लाल जी negative role और बिजु दत्ताप सिंधा सब तो इसको justice तो करना चाहिए तो अजय ने बोला कि गणेश कैसा करेंगे हम लोग दिखते हैं गाने को मैं अमित जी से बात करता हूँ क्योंकि industry के legend अमित जी हैं उनसे बात करता हूँ कि आ जाए गाने में दो मिनट के लिए फिर बाद में अजय देवगन जो मेरे I said, okay, let's do it. And I had a phone call. Ajay said, how will everyone come together? I said, I'm going to see. And I had a phone call. And everyone had managed to manage their own data. And they walk on one screen. Then I knew that I love the industry a lot. From that story about the happenings in Bollywood, let's look at what's been going on in Hollywood. After a successful run of the best exotic Marigold Hotel, the sequel, the second best Marigold Hotel, what else, seems pretty entertaining. But what was equally entertaining were the dance sequences the cast had to shoot for. We loved it. How did we you find learning the moves? And oh, well, we are not meant to know too, too well about it. So we just meant to muddle in. But we'd watch the boys and Dev and Tina for quite a long time, standing, watching and appreciating it. So, you know, you, you kind of had a kind of working idea of it and it didn't matter if you weren't particularly wrong. I have been offered Bollywood stuff, surprisingly. Um, it's just not what I've grown up with, really. Um, but... Yeah, I can't dance, so I don't think I would be the best at it. <laughs> I thought you were great in the film. I thought you were really good. I know, good. that takes a lot of rehearsal and great lighting and a very attractive, distracting co-star, basically, that I, you know, the guy just stands there and the girl gets spun around and flipped over and she's the focal point, so it's kind of easier. I was able to do it great with the, you know, the dancers who are teaching me, but I was like, you know, Dave has the attention span of a goldfish. He can pay attention for two seconds. So he's not going to pay attention long enough to learn the step that you're teaching him. And there were some really complicated moves. I'm like, he's going to drop me, he's going to hurt me. What are you doing? Do rework the steps and everything. But they've came in and learned it immediately. The film had a new cast member for the sequel, the very dapper Richard Gere. Richard's a sexy dude, man. Like he really is a, and my dad's favorite film is Pretty Woman. 
uh, and I just remember watching that over and over and then I met him and he's completely how you expect that silver fox hair and he's got this like movie star strut you know uh, and it was cool. I just invade his personal space throughout the film. I'm just all over him, you know. Sonny is, likes him in a very uncomfortable way, which makes everyone around them uncomfortable, including Sonny's wife. Uh, but how can you not with Richard Gere, right? <laughs> well, it, it was just really the dynamic of a new person coming into the residence quarters, you know, because we are established, and anyway, we know each other as... Um, off screen so that whole familiarity of residents all together was wonderfully embedded i suppose if you like and um so that to have a new person coming in uh was exactly how i imagine it would have been had a new resident suddenly arrived in the shape of richard gear blimey <laughs> you can say that again. So dancing might not have been a challenge for Judy Dench, but speaking Hindi surely was. Hindi's I'm not conversant with Hindi. Um, so I had it written out by my assistant uh, phonetically, and, every, and I had it with me all the time. So I used to say it always on the way to, regardless of the fact we weren't doing the scene for ages, I used to say it out loud to Raghu and to Desiraj, who was my driver, who spoke very, very, very little English. But after eight weeks of me saying it, not quite eight weeks, but until we came to do the scene, suddenly I said it to him one day, and he'd heard it so many times, and he, he, he learnt the word wonderful, he said. It's the little things like these that make filming a movie so much fun. But Tiger Shroff's not having much fun these days. That's because he's having some trouble finding true love. Oh no, we're not talking about his personal life, but his professional one. So think about it. And you can show up the friend you have me. For his action romance film titled Bagi and produced by Sajid Nadiwala and director Sabir Khan, Tiger has yet not found his heroine, but things are not as complicated as they may seem. The choices have been narrowed down to two, Shraddha Kapoor and Jacqueline Fernandez. We did some asking around and found out that Shraddha might just win this race by an inch, but it's not like Jacqueline is sitting there crying over it. She has a lot in her filmy kitty already. Just like us who never really run out of the juiciest stories from the world of entertainment to bring you. I mean, we've been doing it for 50 episodes now. So from us here at 9XE The Show, a big thank you to all you guys for the love and support. Here's to another 50 episodes and many more. Don't forget to check out our YouTube channel and our website, 9xe.com. See you guys. Bye.